Hey everyone, so I'm gearing up for something really awesome, and that is just an overnighter. If you followed some of my other videos, my wife and I, Lindsay, just had this little guy, Baby Beckwith, about two months ago, just over two months ago. So this is really exciting for me because I'm going on my first overnighter since we've had Beck. Uh, and obviously, if any of you have had children, you know how challenging the first few months are. The cool thing about this adventure is it's a super, super short overnighter. What I mean by that is I'm literally going to leave around five o'clock, head up to a campsite really close to my home the next morning, wake up, have some coffee, and then head home. So the reason I'm here today is, well, because I want to bring you along on my adventure and to showcase how easy it is to go out on an overnighter. Let's have some fun. Just leaving the town I live in, which is Golden, Colorado. We're going up to a trail system that I'm very familiar with in White Ranch. And the cool thing about White Ranch is there is camping spots there. Now you do have to reserve them at least seven days in advance. That being said, there's a bunch and they're all hiking only or biking in this case. So that's where we're going. I'm pedaling roughly six miles today. A lot of it is on pavement and a lot of it is climbing. And a lot of that climbing is on Belcher Hill, which I will show you here shortly. first stretch single track I call this pinball all right the start of the chunk of Belcher this isn't too bad right here but we're heading right up there oh God. <laughs> it's kind of pretty though So this is Belcher Hill. Steep, rocky, chunky. And while I can ride a lot of it, normally unloaded, we're walking this. We're walking most of it today. And that's okay. That kind of reminds me that any of these adventures, whether they're short or long, you're going a lot slower than you normally would on an unloaded bike. And that's okay. Sun is setting. I'm just about at camp, 0.5 miles away, as that sign just said. Took a while for basically six miles, but really it was quite enjoyable. It's gorgeous. Good thing I brought enough water for the trip. <laughs> I had a feeling that was gonna happen. So get this shot in before it gets too dark. But one of the coolest things about these types of adventures is the fact that you can go get some food uh, at a restaurant or make food prior to your trip and it's not gonna go bad. So I just got this sandwich probably at, I don't know, 4, 3.30 um, and it's six o'clock now. So clearly it's not gonna go bad. It's a turkey sandwich with a whole lot of other good things in it. If you've ever been to D Deli in downtown Golden, um, you know that these sandwiches are good and if you haven't 
definitely put it on your list. But because of this, I don't have to get my stove out or even bring a stove for that matter. I did bring a stove in this case because, well, I love coffee and so I'm able to cook coffee in the morning. But for dinner, I'm just gonna have a sandwich, some crumpled up chips, some water, and of course, a little bit of whiskey. Oh, just woke up to this. People seem to always be hating on the instant coffee. And I love instant coffee. This stuff is uh, some of my favorite, the first ascents, uh, instant coffee. But there's something new and it's called steeped coffee. And essentially it's a tea bag, but with coffee beans or ground coffee inside the tea bag. This is made by Ruby Coffee Roasters in uh, Wisconsin. But this is the first time I've ever used any of this stuff and it's delicious. It definitely tastes a little bit better than instant coffee. So if you see steeped coffee at your local coffee roaster, pick a box up because it is delicious and it works really well for bike packing. So just getting my final belongings together and packed on the bike and uh, about to head downward and have a little bit of fun. It's still a great sunrise and we're gonna maybe cut some mileage because I need to get home. Little ditty called Maverick. fun. My ranch has some real, real fun downhills. Doing an overnighter on local trails makes it a little bit more fun because you know the lines. If the coffee didn't help, a little breakfast hike a bike will. And that completes our tour of White Ranch. And it was a really good one. And I've never spent so much time <laughs> at this park, but I'm definitely gonna do it again because I can't believe how awesome those campsites are. So we're back on Belcher Hill and uh, we're just gonna descend back into the parking lot and into town. A little chilly down here at the uh, creek, dried up creek, wash we call that I guess. A little inversion, really gorgeous morning all in all. And super happy I went out. All right, so I made it home. <laughs> Total ride time was just about two and a half hours, and my total mileage was 12.6 miles, so really not that long. Overall, these short micro adventures, these sub 24 hour overnighters, they're good for the soul. They're really attainable. And if something does happen, it's easy to either, you know, hike back to uh, cell service or call your partner or friends to help you out, uh, to pick you up, what have you. So, Thanks for joining me. Until next time, pedal further.